the biggest change you made in your life in the last year? So I'll start. The big thing for me is being adaptable, uh, adapting to COVID and from being a social person who goes out all the time, worrying about how I want to cope with no social life as such, to suddenly adapting, uh, doing various things, keeping fit, doing a lot of volunteer work, getting involved with, with the club, getting to meet you guys, which has been really good. So that, that's, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for that. Um, yeah, for me, I'll probably just keep it quite simple. So um, not had a cigarette now since um, 1st of January. Uh, I find that's helped with sort of anxiety levels and things of that nature. Um, something I feel quite heavily relied on when dealing with stress. Um, yeah, the biggest change for myself is obviously getting involved with, with you guys down here at the club, Mandy's Man's Club. Um, it's been a great help to myself and motivated with other challenges as well, like I said, in personal life. So getting involved with the club has been the biggest change for me this last year. Yeah, the single biggest change for me was uh, getting invited by the GP to join a uh, pre diabetics. Um, prevention course which taught me all about food and food intake and, and things like that and taking that on board just taught me that you can't say you don't need to say no to anything you want everything's in moderation understand what, what you're taking in and health wise has done me quite a lot of good I've dropped quite a bit of weight so I'm quite happy with it. Uh, yeah for me it's definitely retiring last year in July uh, which is a massive change in your life, uh, but being able to adapt, which is the word that you use, Mark, um, adapting to that, that change in life. I mean, the confusing bit for me has been, what, what am I adapting to? Have I been adapting to lockdown and everything with COVID? Or am I adapting to a new way of life because I'm retired? So it's, it's, it's a bit confusing like that, but... Definitely the biggest thing, biggest change that I've made was retiring, which has been pretty much for the good. What music lifts you when you get on your down? What music lifts you? So uh, we're thinking quite a lot about this, and I'd probably say uh, Little Mix keeps me going <laughs> when uh, I'm. There's no bands, there's no great bands, keep me going when I'm running, so Little Mix. Uh, for me, yeah, it's quite a good variety of music, really. You usually stick to the, the sort of, um, you know, the, the usual stuff, Free Fighters and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, things like that. But recently, I've had sort of a, a, a newfound love for uh, Harry Styles from uh, One Direction. Um, something that the missus introduced me to, and uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. It's been keeping me nice and relaxed and, uh, yeah, and browning up my day. I think I've got a kind of rescue this session here, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> No surprise for the people that know me, yeah, obviously, that uh, yeah, stereophonics from yourself, if I'm feeling down, blast them on, fine, that's, yeah, best band for me. Um, also, ACDC have been getting a new band appreciation for them this year, so love it to them. And uh, a new band, DMA, which I've been listening to the last couple of months, which I've never heard before, and really enjoying them, but yeah, always to, back to stereophonics. So uh, I think I've rescued us now, so we can, we can move on. Yeah, for me to actually get a bit of an uplift, it's like a good time sort of rock and roll style music. So something like um, Huey Lewis and the, uh, and the News has sort of got my, my kind of band. That's kind of well, cool. Like Jason Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, quite rock and roll. It's more the American sort of AOR stuff, you know. So you've talked about Harry Styles and Little Mix. I'm going to take you to a different level altogether in a minute. but. Usually what I do when I'm feeling down is, is just pick uh, records, uh, songs that I haven't heard for a long time and I just pick them out, happy ones, and, and play them. But the one, there's one artist that I'm, I'm a sucker for that um, just takes me to a different place and that's uh, Karen Carpenter. Um, it, it's, it's, she, you know, her voice is just dreamy. And I love that, and uh, I just go to a different place.